What up, y'all? It's your boy AP, back with another video. Um, today, I figured I've been seeing a lot of like these other tutorials. I'm just I'm learning as I go along and stuff. I'm learning what kind of um, videos people like to see, you know, on YouTube. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of how to do this guy's type vocals, how to do this guy's type vocals. So as you can see with the title of the video, probably um, this is gonna be how to make Travis Scott type vocals. Yo, the winner of last week's free mix and master giveaway is Brian Takeover. Thanks for your support, Brian. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna be messaging you right now, uh, my email so that you can send me your track and I'm gonna mix and master it for free. So if you guys don't already know, I do a free mix and master giveaway with every single video that I drop. All you gotta do is smash that like button, drop a comment, and I go through the comments every week and I pick one person at random that I give a free mix and master to. So don't miss out on that. It's a good way to get a free mix and master from the boy. Let's get into the video. I have here some vocals that I just freestyled and try to make it as Travis Scotty as possible. I'm not a rapper, so don't take these vocals too seriously. Yeah, so let's start mixing these. This particular beat is kind of loud, so I'm gonna make it negative five. And then we're gonna go into this verse main right here. I'm gonna exit out of this so that, you know, I kind of just see the tracks that I got here. Um, I, I got a little auto tune on there, obviously. Again, in this lesson, we're gonna use all Logic's built-in plugins because I know a lot of people don't have, you know, the fancy stuff to start off with. Um, so right off the bat, I'm gonna go into channel EQ, well EQ, channel EQ, mono, and I'm gonna press analyzer so we can see those frequencies. I'm gonna click this down here, and then I'm gonna click and drag this part right here. So that creates a loop, so we can hear this part over and over and mix it right. So, you know, we don't have to keep pressing play and pause and whatever. So, so I'm going to make a low cut frequency I'm gonna, by clicking this little red slope right here. I'm going to bring this over to maybe like 100. I like that, I like that. Now, I'm gonna leave that for now, and I'm gonna go into here, and I'm gonna um, add a compressor because I can't hear these vocals that great right now. I'm adding this compressor right now so that we can raise the volume of those vocals a little bit so that we can go back to the channel EQ and hear those frequencies better because right now I can barely even hear it. In the room, yeah. yeah. Best car, it goes zoom, yeah. Highest in the room, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. yeah. Best car, it goes zoom, yeah. I, I know I'm jumping around in this video. Sorry, I'm gonna show you guys what I did in that compressor in just a sec. We're gonna go back to this channel EQ now that we can hear a little better, like you know, the actual vocals and stuff. And y'all know what your favorite neighborhood empanada always tells you guys, your boy AP always tells you that first channel EQ, this is when we start cutting those nasty little sounds out of the voice. So remember that guys, we're gonna get in that habit of cutting in the, e the first EQ is to cut and then you compress and then you put another EQ and excite. So tame, then excite, tame, then excite. You know, you're gonna tame these vocals and then you're gonna excite them. Right now we're gonna tame and we're gonna, you know, create this little hill thing right here. I'm gonna go to this bottom number right here and I'm gonna make it like eight. And that's gonna make it a very sharp, uh, you know, cue. I'm gonna take this middle number, double click, 
and I'm gonna make it like 10. And then I'm gonna go to this left number and I'm gonna drag it back and forth and listen for some ugly frequencies so that we can take them out. Last car it goes zoom, yeah. Highest in the room, yeah. Last car it goes zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. yeah. All right, so I don't like that 120 right there. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna cut it negative three. Now we're gonna go on to the next one. We're gonna take this yellow one. I'm gonna move it somewhere like around here. Back right here, we're gonna make it eight. And then we're gonna raise this like 15 dBs. So we're trying back to sweeping. We're gonna try and find another ugly frequency. Highest in the room, yeah. Last car it goes zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. Last car it goes zoom. Oh, that sound is disgusting, okay. So we found one right here around like 240. I'm gonna double click that middle number and I'm gonna say negative four because that shit was a little ugly. It was, that deserved a four. I'm gonna take this one and you know, I'm gonna. So now we did the same thing with this light blue scope, you know, or this turquoise or whatever the color this is. And we're gonna try and find another frequency. Highest in the room, yeah. In the room, yeah. Okay, I don't like that. So we're gonna make that negative three. And then with this one, with this blue one, we're gonna we're gonna boost. We're gonna give it a little sauce. Highest in the room, yeah. That's car it goes zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. That's car it goes zoom, yeah. Highest in the room, yeah. That's car it goes zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. That's car, it goes zoom, yeah. Highest in the room, yeah. That's car, it goes zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. That's car, it goes zoom, yeah. Highest in the room, yeah. That's car, it goes zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. So I found this frequency around like 1680. Hertz, um, that sounded a little saucy to me, and I boosted it two dBs. I made it a little wider than you know the cuts, the skinny cuts. Um, I made it like a 2.9, and that just kind of like let that whole area get a little bit of a boost and get a little saucy. So I'm gonna close out of this EQ, and I'm gonna go back into this compressor, and now we're gonna really get into compressing these vocals and taming them. So let's open it up. So right here in this compressor, I boosted it five dBs so that I could hear it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and we're gonna make it zero and we're gonna make it back to normal and stuff. And so now we're gonna listen back and start compressing. Alright, so we compress it a little bit. Compressing is the most misunderstood plugin. A lot of people think that you're supposed to throw the compressor on and let that thing just hit negative 10 dBs and just like have it um, all the way on and like cranked up to the max. And that's not the case at all. Any professional audio engineer will tell you. The rule of thumb is really don't go past negative three. And you've heard it in my other videos, do not go past negative three right here. So what I did is I was listening and I was playing with this threshold right here and I was just dragging it up, taking it down, waiting for it to perfectly hit this mark right here and not go past it, you know? Then I made the attack, you know, 13.5, kind of fast. The release is 18, that's pretty fast. Um, I'm gonna make the attack a little slower. I'm gonna make it like 17. 
I, I cranked up the ratio a little bit, you know. Um, I used this Studio Fet. A lot of people like this one. Um, zero makeup. Um, yeah, so that's what we got right now. Um, I'm going to exit out of that. And I'm going to go back and add another channel EQ. So on this one, we're going to be boosting the vocals that we do like. Highest in the room, yeah. Best car equals highest in the room, yeah. Best car equals zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, car equals zoom, yeah. Highest in the room, yeah. Best car equals zoom, yeah. Boom, yeah. Best car equals zoom, yeah. Highest in the room, yeah. Boom, yeah. Best car equals zoom, yeah. Highest in the room, yeah. Best car equals zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room. Best car equals zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. Best car equals zoom. Best car equals zoom, yeah. Highest in the room, yeah. Best car equals zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. Best car equals zoom, yeah. Car equals zoom, yeah. Highest in the room, yeah. Best car equals zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. All right, so what I did with this second layer of EQ right here is I boosted some of the highs with this um, slope, this high slope. And that's just to kind of give it a little more clarity. When you boost the highs, your voice just gets a little clearer, you know. It sounds clearer, it sounds, you know, clean. Um, so I did that like 1 dB and I just did it from 4,850. I kind of went back and forth until it sounded, you know, as natural as possible. Um, I used this blue slope right here to actually cut a, vo a little frequency that I was hearing in the lows, the low area. Um, it was just a little, it was like muffly and I just cut it out, you know, a little bit. Uh, I'm going to make it a little more actually. I should make it like a four, you know, get that shit really out of there. Um, with this one, I boosted around the 3K range, you know, it just gives a little bit of, uh, like attitude to the voice, it gives a little bit of like spice, you know, this one right here, 245 Hertz, you know, I just thought it sounded good. It brought something out of the voice and all right. So now we got a little bit of sauce. Now it's going to come to the fun stuff. The real Travis Scott sauce. We're gonna click this mix button right here. And I'm gonna try and go through this as fast as possible. We're gonna go to options, click it, new auxiliary channel, okay? And we're gonna, that just created a new aux and we're gonna click the name and name it reverb. And we're gonna go up to here and we're gonna make it Oh yeah, we're gonna make it bus and we're gonna go to bus one. Okay, so now that reverb is connected to your first bus. And that means that we can put something on this track. Let's see, like, let's put reverb, let's put some reverb and we're gonna go to space delay stereo. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to make it a big plate. Let's see. Let's see what that sounds like. Gonna, you got to press option, hold option down and click that. Because it was down here. So hold option down, click it and it puts it down to zero, which allows that aux to be heard. So now we have some reverb in the bus and we're gonna go to this right here on that first track. We're gonna go to this little area right here, which is your buses, your sends. And we're gonna go to bus and we're gonna go to bus one and click it. And now that is getting sent to that uh, reverb bus. Highest in the room, yeah. Best car equals zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. 
Last car it goes zoom ya yeah. Highest in the room ya yeah. Last car it goes zoom ya yeah. So Already you guys can kind of hear Sounding Very reverby That's one thing that Travis Scott Always does he throws a lot of reverb And a lot of delay So now we got some reverb on there And we're gonna go back to options Create a new auxiliary track So we're creating another one Remember we're gonna go down here, we're gonna name it Delay because remember that organization is everything. And if you get in these habits early on, later when you have like 50 tracks, it's gonna be super easy for you guys to run through them and know exactly where everything is. And you know, it's gonna make your whole life way easier and less stressful. So we're gonna go back over here, we're gonna hold down option and we're gonna click and that brings your delay right back, you know. We're gonna go back to this section right here and we're gonna clip and we're gonna make it bus two. So now that's connected to bus, your second bus. We're gonna click right here and we're gonna go down to tape delay. That's a good one. A lot of people use tape delay. We're just gonna use a preset because that makes it really easy. Um, we're going to go down to one fourth note, one fourth note feedback. And let's see how that sounds. Oh, we're going to go back over here and click and send it to this second bus. So now we sent it to the reverb and then now we're also sending it to the delay. So we got to go up and down. I'm going to add it right here and then let's hear how it sounds. Highest in the room, yeah. Last car, it goes zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. Last car, it, last car, it goes zoom, yeah. Highest in the room, yeah. Last car, it goes zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. Last car, it goes zoom, yeah. Highest in the room, yeah. Last car, it goes zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. yeah. All right, so we added some delay on that. So now it has reverb and it has delay. Um, we're gonna add some secret sauce in here. I'm gonna go to that first track, the plugins, and I'm gonna add a modulation. I'm gonna go to modulation and add a flanger and this is what a lot of people do to add just just a little extra kick we're gonna go to easy flange so what we just did was we added a flanger and we took down the mix to 10% so that it's barely there. It's just adding some light sauce that you don't know what it is. It just sounds like um, wet effect. And this is what a lot of people do and they don't tell you these secrets, man. So you know your boy AP gonna tell you all the secrets, man. Let's listen to it without that. Highest in the room, yeah. Last car, it goes zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. Now let's listen to it with it. Highest in the room, yeah. Last car, it goes zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. Last car, it goes zoom, yeah. Highest in the room. So we added that flanger. It added a little bit of sauce to the vocals. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste these plugins to the rest of our vocal tracks, you know? And there's one thing about Travis Scott that is very important. And that's his ad-libs, you know? You can't have Travis Scott without ad-libs. All right, so we added those plugins to the rest of our tracks. Now let's work on saucing up those ad-libs. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. Yeah. 
best car, it goes zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. 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 Best car, it goes zoom, yeah. I miss Kylie, no cap. I've been posted up with my gang in a trap. Taking drugs every day, every night. She yeah. gon' I think really the only thing that we do with these ad-libs is we just, let's crank up the reverb. Let's crank up the delay. I cranked that flanger up, you know, a little more so you could hear it. Zoom, yeah. I miss Kylie, no cat. I've been posted up with my gang in a trap. Taking drugs every day, every night. She yeah. gon' through, cause she know I hit it right. Feel me? So y'all, to recap what we did, for Travis Scott vocals, we add a lot of reverb, a lot of delay, and that flanger, okay? That flanger is important for that, that effect on the voice. It sounds like it has some sort of filter, but you know, it's not all the way there. It's still a very alive voice. So I'm gonna play it from like right here and you guys are gonna hear what we did. In the room, yeah. yeah. Best car, it goes zoom, yeah. I'm the highest in the room, yeah. yeah. Best car, it goes zoom, yeah. I miss Kylie, no cap. I've been posted up with my gang in a trap. Taking drugs every day, every night. She yeah. gon' come through, cause she know I hit it right. Come on, man. You know that sound like Travis, man. That's Travis, man. That's Travis right there. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. It's your boy, AP. See you in the next one. I'm out.